My love, you ready for this hair day we got planned today? Long day of hair. Let's go. We are starting the morning off very, very wild. <laughs> I don't even know where we are at. Just let me do a quick little, <laughs> quick little shot of the street. Uh, that's one side. And if I had to go through, that's the other side. Here goes baby. We're Let's meeting guys. someone to do my hair. Yes. It's very early. We haven't really slept because we have a video to post. Yep. Computers in the bag. Um, and this will be an adventure, so let's go. Look at the do. Wow, wow. Well, well, guys, look who we have here. I'm awake now. In when case you guys didn't know, we went home and took a nap. Yeah, like we didn't sleep at all the night before. We like just went straight to the hair appointment. So I was like zombie mode. I don't know what Dustin filmed while I was getting my hair done. So maybe you guys saw my head on lean or not. I don't know, but I was falling asleep in that chair. Like a little kid getting their hair done like that. <laughs> but we took a nap. And now we're getting shabu shabu. And it wasn't really a filming experience, like... No. Just because it was literally in her house. And it was our first time meeting her, you know? So I tried to be like... Not everybody wants to be on our vlog. And it was in her house. <laughs> that's, a, that's a huge key part. Yeah. Like, so. some people don't want to be on our vlog, and they don't want their house filmed either. Yeah. But she was really nice and she did a really, really great job, so. Yes, she did a very good job. Um, so yeah. Seven up. Yay. I feel like I know what this is, but I don't remember it. There it is, our bucket. And that's Dustin. I think he's about to try that plum soda. Yeah, it's um, funny thing is it's like, uh, it's like their homemade syrup concoction of plum soda. I've never had plum soda, but it's on every menu here in Asia, like literally every menu. You can't go anywhere. I've even seen it on as we were walking past a McDonald's. Plum soda. Did I did. Soda. Yeah, I did. Guys, does anybody know the hype behind KFC here? We haven't had it, but there's like a real hype behind it. And they swear it's different than the US, but I'm so skeptical. It is so hard for us to eat KFC. No disrespect to KFC eaters. For the simple fact that like, you can go to any little stall and like somebody's grandma is frying the most phenomenal chicken for the low. Okay, and super side note, those of you guys in Los Angeles, they just opened this place called Willie Mae's Chicken in LA. Can someone please go there and tell me what it's like? Dustin used to eat there when he lived in Louisiana, and he swears it's the best fried chicken he's ever had in his life. In my entire life. I just seen a, a group of girls run out of here with their phones, and there's like always like little K-pop stars and stuff walking around. I don't know what's going on outside. I actually might have to take the camera out there. All the girls in their like geisha outfits sprinted outside. They did? Yeah, they had their phones and they were shaking and they sprinted they were outside. Shaking. Okay. All right, taste your soda. Okay. You're lying. No. Plum soda for the win. Look, I'm seeing people walk by in, in dresses like ball gowns. We're missing something. Okay. But what I'm not missing 
is this plum soda. <laughs> Guys, Dustin really got up to go look for the K-pop star. But on a side note, do you see this little thing on the wall? This little thing right Oh. Oh, he's oh, okay. Wow. What is that? I don't know what that is. It looks so good. Uh, oh, beef right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I feel like this looks like uh, ratatouille. It does look like ratatouille. Yeah, man. Anyway, this little thing right here on the wall right there, that is how they clock in and out. And okay, side note for you guys that don't know, I used to work in retail, so I'm so intrigued by weird things like this, but they lift up the little flappy thing on the top and it scans their entire face and that is how they clock in and out. Imagine mm. trying... Oh. Uh, wow. I will do that noodle. Oh, wow. Can we have... And you, you want this I one? I want... What is that? I'm sorry. Yes. Can you just get us a variety? <laughs> <laughs> Come <laughs> on. Come on, God. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, God. Oh, man. Hello. Yes. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is hilarious. They're laughing at you in the back. I, I don't know what's best. Ooh. Oh. 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 <laughs> okay. Go Punka. Go Punka. Thank, Thank you so much. Bro. Hey, look. Everybody. Yeah, they're <laughs> We don't know what's the best. Oh my goodness. We might need some more juice. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need some more juice. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. You haven't oh shabu shabu until you've shabu shabu with D and Lalo and that is, that is unreal. This is a treat. That is unreal. <laughs> we we have a lot of eating to do, so we gotta get to Let's it. Let's get to it. Guys. It's not ending. And that would be <laughs> Oh my goodness, bro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in my mouth really quick. <clears throat> I forgot about that. Yeah, how? Ooh. Oh, oh okay. it's like a little meatball that they cut in half. Super slippery. Here we go. Delicioso? Bro. That's like A5 Kobe Wagyu. Is it hot or cold? Hot. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow. Coconut. Guys, look at all this food. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Bon Appetit, guys. Oh, someone pre-cut this. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> That's delicious, right? That's delicioso. I love that we walk in here as the as the restaurant's completely closing. Yeah, we, and we it literally was, start filming. A it movie. was 7.45 when we walked in. They closed at 8. No, it was 8.45. They closed at 9. Oh, I'm sorry. 8.45. They closed at 9. Mmm. Oh my god, I haven't even told you guys this. Oh wow. Oh wow. I think we need more meat. Oh. 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 my god. That one's so good. Mm. I can't, this isn't a one biter for me. Oh my. Anyway guys. Oh, oh god. This is gonna be a great meal. Right when 
we thought we were done, they gave us another bowl of soup and meat. This one has rice in it. It's got beef. And what are these little things on top? Seaweed. Seaweed. Bro, I'm so stuck. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like we do this to ourselves every day. Every day we go out, we do this to ourselves. Whoa. <clears throat> I am like super stuff, man. Thank you. <laughs> this is like, how is that? Okay, let me just, <clears throat> this is very oceanic, which is weird because it's beef. I've never tasted something that tasted of the sea so much, but it had beef in it. So it's a little conflicting. I feel like we maybe ate this out of order, right? Like this feels like very first course. It's giving warm up vibes. And we're at the end of the meal. Like we've rounded all the bases and we, we just crossed third and we're almost home at this point. But it's delicious. Have you guys ever eaten so much? You literally feel like your stomach is gonna explode. <laughs> That happens to me more times than I care to admit. Something just flew out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I think Justin's supposed to be saying kokum cup. No, it's kokum it's kokum prat, like prat. Kokum prat. And I'm supposed to say kokum ka? Kokum ka. Kai, K A I. Kokum ka. So she says kokum ka, I say kokum prat. We can talk about how men and women have different terminologies and phrases here. It's like that in Spanish too. Yeah, but it's not like that in English. It's snow. Put this on top. It's supposed to drizzle. I think that's matcha on top of this. And create like a little snow situation. Oh, and Baby Lips has a, a, a strawberry. Wow. Almost like parfait. Kokunka. Guys, this is called matcha snow. Uh, it looks like it's served with a shot of matcha. I don't know if you guys can see inside of there. Uh, and then I have to pour it on this huge mountain of matcha snow. And here goes nothing. Wow. Comes out super slow. Look at that. Wow, honey. Oh, yeah, man. You're like a food model. Right now. I'm a food model. I'm actually gonna put that on my Instagram handle, food model. You're not a food model. I actually am, because I decided today. Okay, dessert time. Moment of truth right now for this. Am I supposed to mix this? I think so, I think you eat like a parfait. I see like pumpkin seeds in there and everything. I made this, uh, this was pretty when they brought it to me. It's a crawfish. A croffle? Yeah. If you guys don't know what a croffle is, it's like a croissant waffle. Don't steal that. It's a thing out here and we plan on stealing it. Oh wow. Mmm. Yeah, this is like a fruity yogurt parfait. This is delicious. Wow. This is a perfect ending to that savory dinner. I used to make Veronica parfaits all the time. And they were bomb. Yeah. During lockdown, when the world got sick, me and Baby Lips was like, I was perfecting parfaits for her. I was. And they were super good. She used to wake up in the middle of the day, not the middle of the night, not, the, not early in the morning, in the middle of the day, requesting parfaits. Listen. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna get to really know who the real variety. Lockdown was an interesting time for everybody. Mm. We spent the first like two months just sitting down and eating, and then we spent the rest of it trying to lose all the weight we gained. Remember that? How could I forget? I baked cookies every single day. Every day we baked a fresh batch of cookies. Every day. We ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and it wasn't small. And dinner. <laughs> and dinner. 
and lunch, we would be up until like three o'clock in the morning playing music, animal crossing, frying fish on the, on the balcony, eating like feasting, animal crossing. I play a lot of animal crossing, a lot of animal crossing, a lot. My eyes started twitching. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. I mean, that wasn't good times for the world, but no, but we handled it as best as we could. Hanging out at home every day. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're gonna wrap this up, and we'll see you guys on our night walk. The dinner was so pleasurable. Baby Lips asked to take a photo with literally everybody. She's literally rallying everybody to take a photo with her. Do you guys see this? She's unreal. The girls with the gay outfit. It's unreal, Matt. guys as you can see we just left the Siam Paragon Mall uh, we are street level we took the BTS all the way to Ekamai baby lips is tired and she needs her uh, fuel with the new braids look at her saucy with the new braids okay and we are at a 24-hour cafe called the Lay Cafe Phoenix it's right off of Ekamai in case you guys are wondering you can take the BTS and get up here and yeah guys it is 24 hours Thank you. This is my beautiful baby ignoring me as I confess my love to her. She's always on the phone. This is your phone. You just handed me the phone no, for this video. No, guys. Look at this video. He wants to look at. That doesn't even look like something I would look at. That's. Literally, she falls asleep to the type of content. No, I don't. People feeding animals. Because she spends her day feeding an animal over here. Can somebody please send a comment to her and tell her to notice me? Can somebody tell her to see me? I miss being looked at with love. <laughs> I'm confiscating your phone. Give me my phone right now. No. No. Not guys, until you tell the truth. It would be so nice. Comment below if you guys think that I deserve love. <laughs> if you, if you, we're just sitting here having some cheesecake, having some coffee, and y'all seeing what I gotta deal with. She get her hair done now, she's too good for me these days. We out of here, guys. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, live life beautifully with no regrets. And until tomorrow, peace. Wanna shake the ground, wanna break away, let loose. I'm tired of waiting, gonna make that They shout to me and you to write our story, wanna shape the news.